Hi guys, this is Basker Berry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about the table constraints uh, uh, and the SQL constraints, basically. In the last video, we've seen about the table and how do we uh, create them, rename them, alter them, or delete them. So in this table, in this uh, video, we are going to talk about the constraints. Uh, basically, the SQL constraint, uh, we, we basically specify these rules for the data in a table. And uh, this is these constraints are used to limit the type of data that can go into these tables actually, and which also ensures this uh, accuracy and reliability of the data in the tables. And uh, if we are violating any of these um, constraints, uh, the actions would be aborted, like the insert actions or the uh, modifying actions. Those should be deleted. Some are these are the some of the uh, checks or the constraints we follow, like not null, uh, default foreign key, primary key, check. Uh, I've just covered a few here. There'll be a lot of constraints as well on the tables. So let's start with uh, not null one. So not null is like, it ensures that column cannot have null values. Uh, basically, uh, this will be defined on the primary columns and the mandatory columns in the table. Uh, so let's start with an example here. So I have used a company database already created and use, I'm using that. So in that, let me create a table. I already showed you the syntax in the previous video. So I'm just going to create it. Create table, TBL employee. Employee ID is a column name. A data type would be like I'm assuming it as int and uh, passing as a uh, um, not null so this is the not null constraints column so employee name maybe where care 30 so it is not null I'm just uh, uh, leaving it as uh, as it is so that this will be a null value just to show the difference between that. So let me create this. Just press F5 shortcut key. So you can see this table has been created here. Employee. Uh, suppose we want to insert the data into that. Let's go to the uh, edit rows. So we'll be we'll add the in, Employee name Barry, uh, employee number, employee info, I'm doing test. Okay. So let's assume, uh, let's see that if you don't add the value for the employee name, name. So we're just adding the description, uh, employee info here, and try to see. So you can see this uh, uh, error information which you are getting here. So this is aborted due to this. Uh, the data row 2 was not committed uh, since cannot insert the value null into the column employment name column does not allow nulls so this is the null constraints which we have defined there due to that this is this is not allowing us to uh, uh, nulls here okay let's uh, okay let's add something here ragu and this is this let's leave us null there Okay, so let's query that using the select statement. Select star from TBL employee. So you can see here the three rows. And uh, the employee info can be inserted as null because we are not uh, specified any constraints there. But for the first two columns, this constraint is specified. So it, we need to uh, provide the values to those uh, columns. Okay. So that's about the um, uh, not null constraints. The next one is default. Uh, here, default, it provides a default value for a column when none is specified. Okay, so, okay. So let's see uh, default value. Uh, let me alter this table to add the Table employee. 
here we are adding the column name as a salary with the data type as decimal 10 comma 2 and let's add the constraint as well for this just a name some name any name you can give here but keep the meaningful names This is a default value I am giving. So this is uh, if the if we are already adding when the table is there and the, uh, we want to uh, populate those columns as well. So we we, we use these constraints like with values so that with this line appends the data to the existing as well, not for the new columns for the existing record as well. It will populate this value. Okay, let's run this. Okay, it got executed successfully. Let's select the table just to make sure that uh, uh, it has loaded. So you can see here the salary is populated by default for the existing columns because of this. Uh, if you are adding the new record, uh, um, let's go to table and edit top 20 rows. And here, if you see here, we can pull. I employee info is um, yes and salary can give different value as well okay okay so in case if you don't give provide any value there it will take the default value okay okay let's see what it has stored so you can notice here that it has taken the default value even though if I have not provided for that okay so these are some of the constraints uh, not null constraints and default constraints is that these two have been covered here 